Now consider another kind of problem. Given that pre-order and in-order traversal of a tree and we have to find out the post-order traversal. So we will apply some trick so that we could solve it in the exam. So we have three kinds of traversal. One is pre-order. Pre-order traversal means what? Say this is the tree. Say this is root, this is left, this is right. Pre means first we will process root, then left child, then right child. So my point is if it is A, it is B and it is C. So if I perform pre-order traversal on this particular tree, it will become root, then left, then right. So this is rule number one. So what do you mean by post-order traversal? If this is the tree, post-order means left, right, root, B, C and A. And what is in-order traversal of this same tree? In-order traversal means left, root and right means B, A and C. So this is the basics. But the problem here is you have to find out the trick. The trick is, so two points. If pre-order traversal is given to you, you have to remember always root comes first and you have to read this traversal from left to right. So how it will be helpful? Here tree is not given. So first we have to identify what is the structure of the tree and then we can convert it into the post order. So we will read the given pre-order traversal in left to right manner and whichever node comes first will be the root of the tree. Since A comes first, A is definitely the root of the tree. There is no question. So, if pre-order traversal is given to you, you check it from left to right and whichever node comes first, consider it as a root of the tree. Now, another interesting point. According to the logic of in-order traversal, root comes at the middle of the left and right subtree. So, if this is the in-order traversal and if a is the root of the tree. So from here, I can easily state that this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. So why this in-order traversal is always given? So that we could identify the left subtree nodes and right subtree nodes. So pre-order is useful for identifying the root of the tree. And in-order is useful to identify in the context of the root, which portions can be considered as left subtree and which portions can be considered as right subtree. And then only we can construct the tree. So now we have identified the root of the tree as A. The question is, where should I keep B? For keeping this B, we will come in the in-order traversal and we can find that in in-order traversal, the B exists at the left side of the root. So therefore, in the tree, it will be definitely at the left side of the root. Now the next part, where should I keep D? If this is the root, according to the in-order traversal, D is at the left of the root. So in the left of the root, we already have B. So D is again left of B. So this is the only position where I can keep D. Now the next part. Where should I keep E? So according to the in-order traversal, what is the location of the E? So E exists at the left side. Now the question is here left of root. So in the left of root we have B. In the left of B we have D. So where should I keep E? See there is only one location vacant at the left side of this root. That is this location. So there is no question we will put E here. 
So this is how you have to find out which node will be situated at what position. Now the next part. So we are traversing this pre-order from left to right. So the next part is C. So according to this in order traversal, C is at the right side of the root. So this is the location of C. There is no question. Now, what is the location of F? F exists at the right side of the root, but left side of C. So this is the position of F. And now, what is the position of G? It is the right side of the root, fine, but it is also at the right side of C. So this is the location. But this is not the question. Your question is you have to find out the post order traversal. Now I will give you one wonderful trick. So what is the formula of post order traversal? Very simple. Post order traversal means left, right, root. Now how we can convert this tree into the post order traversal? Consider the entire tree inside one bucket where you have a bucket of left subtree, right subtree and the root. So what is the root of the tree? Root of the tree is A. Now which are at the left side of the root? Just write them haphazardly. So B, D and E. And which portion are at the right side of the root? Just write them haphazardly. No need to consider anything. Now, just remember one point. Whenever you have a bucket of left subtree and we are going to convert it into the post order, the formula will be left, right and root. So, bucket for left, bucket for right and root. Again, the right subtree will have the same configuration. Left, right and root. So bucket for left, bucket for right and root. So now consider this one. So I'm dividing this portion left into three parts. Left, root, right. So what is the root of the left subtree? B. So here I'm just writing B. And left side we have D. And right side we have E. Now again, here we have divided this right subtree into three parts. Root left and right. So what is the root of the right subtree? C. And what is the left of the right subtree? F. And what is the right of the right subtree? That is G. So the traversal will become, just read it from left to right, D, E, B, F, G, C and A. So this is the post order traversal of the given tree. You can understand that what will be our next problem. Definitely one post order will be given and in order will be given. We have to convert it into the pre order. So we will do this thing.